it seems to me that China and the Solomon Islands have a lot to cooperate on in the future. But can you tell us a little bit about where is it starting in the very near term? Well, we've signed a number of uh, <coughs> MOU, MOUs, uh, Memorandum of Understanding now. One is on the, uh, we will work together on the, uh, the uh, uh, constructions of uh, strategic uh, uh, infrastructures. Um, the country is badly in need of uh, uh, important infrastructures. If we need to uh, look at some of our potentials, like potentials in tourism, for example, in agriculture, uh, and, and, and uh, sectors like that, you need important infrastructures to connect uh, the our various island provinces to the main centre on air, which is the that's where all the marketing uh, happens. And then our minister, our minister of education officials and the minister himself will lead a delegation here in uh, in a few uh, uh, days' time to come and start look at uh, uh, institutions where our, our students uh, will go. Uh, potentials in minerals and and and, uh, uh, and forestry and in fisheries and and, and and tourism, as I've mentioned, these are areas that we can. Uh, uh, we can work together uh, for win-win, for you know, your investors come to, into the country to invest, uh, we benefit out of it, uh, you know, China also benefits out of it. So you are already our biggest trading partner in the world. And talking about connectivity and infrastructure, what about the China proposed Belt and Road Initiative? Where is it um, in the national development of your country? Uh, infrastructure development is a, a, a key uh, strategic uh, um, actions to, to drive uh, development uh, forward and, and the uh, Road and Belt uh, initiative is, is right in the, in, in the core of it to achieve that, uh, that very serious uh, uh, objective. So we're working very closely with uh, China on that.